It's week eight. We are at Chesney High School for the high school red zone kickoff. And this week, Chesney shows off their STEAM wing. It's part of the school where all teachers integrate science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, thus STEAM, into the <laughs> curriculum. Christine Scarpelli, photographer Ryan Goodman, show us how those kids do it, how they can relate the lessons to real life careers. Because they're all flowing to the right. Just a junior in high school, Tishon Nesbitt is already a hardworking landlord. Some days you'll have a lot of them, and then the next day they'll all be gone. His clients? Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. You've got a um, spirostomum in there. He's big. Did you see him? Live here in the home he built. We went to the creek and got water, and we got some rocks. An ecosystem he engineered. And you got to find out what they eat. And the credit is for science. It's basically their exam grade. So they have all semester to create this and gain the knowledge to convince the judges that theirs is the healthiest. I've gotten two walls done. Ethan Wheaton is building another type of house. Uh, their design brief for this class, or for, for this module, uh, was to build a lake house. A full set of plans laying out a scale model like an architect you'd hire. I really like to do hands-on work, so this, like, really helps. It all happens here, the STEAM wing at Chesney High School. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics combined in classes. Teachers say the goal is to get all students through at least one STEAM class before they graduate. I do know that my kids could get a job if they have problem solving skills, if they have the ability to rationalize, take uh, data and information from multiple sources and do something with it. Like this, a solar powered charging station. It was something these guys created as part of a sustainability project in their STEAM classes, but obviously it's something that can be applied in real life. Teacher Adam McAbee says the Department of Education determines the curriculum, but they can get creative in how they teach topics like sustainability, English, and the arts. Romeo and Juliet laying there side by side, both dead, and we have to give them like a picture of a knife. Right now they are researching famous crime scenes. A foundation that if laid down early can solidify a lifelong career. For photojournalist Ryan Goodman and Christine Scarpelli, 7 News. Tonight, Chesney will wear all black against rival Blacksburg. And P.E. Annie is going to have highlights from all the games tonight in our area on High School Red Zone right after 7 News at 11.